Just a few hours, we could find out just how strong the tornado was that hit Western Ohio. If you were watching our coverage last night, you heard Doppler 10 Chief Meteorologist Ashley Barrissey confirmed the twister near Tip City. Well, this morning, hundreds of people are waking up without power. We are so sorry to hear that. Yeah, we drive. are. So if you know somebody that's without power, mm -hmm. hopefully help them out there. But Krista Frost has been checking out some of the power outage maps, really giving us a sense of the damage where it's the worst and when that power might come back. Yeah, and we know that a lot of Ohio saw damage, but that includes central Ohio too, seeing some damage. And that's exactly why we're showing you this AEP map right here with just a few outages here in this, this Columbus area. So in central Ohio, we're not seeing really too many, but I do want to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And you're going to see here in southeast Ohio, we've got a lot more outages and it's even more on a different map that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. But what exactly is going on here? We do have some photos that I would like to show you from this area in southeast Ohio. So photos tweeted out by Matt Bruning with the Ohio Department of Transportation. And you can see a tree down. This is on State Route 56 on the Hawking Benton County line. Here's some video showing those crews trying to clear that area yesterday evening. And we did talk with an emergency manager in Hawking County about this damage. That's our first priority, keeping everybody safe, keeping everybody in a good spot, and then getting these roads back opened up so that our first responders, our EMS fire can transition these roads. So if there's other issues such as car accidents or emergencies, we can get to these people quickly. That's the goal, and as those workers keep trying to clear those roads, we do have a different power outage map to show you. This is a little bit more of just southeast Ohio here. And so you can see, as of right now, I've done the math, there's about 1,500 people that are without power in this area. And if you do click on something in this area, over here, it'll show you when the estimated restoration is supposed to be in some of these areas. So if you know somebody who lives in southeast Ohio, or maybe you have a friend or anyone who's in that area, it'd be good to just click on this, let them know, especially if they don't have power, when they can expect to get that back. But of course, we're going to be checking in with this throughout the morning. Angela? Well, video is coming into our newsroom this morning showing that tornado. Look closely just north of Dayton and the damage it caused. Can you see? Some of that, yes, the National Weather Service confirmed this touchdown in Miami County. The NWS has not confirmed, though, the tornado strength, but just look at what the twister did to a Meyer distribution center. Wow. Well, Doppler 10 Mackenzie's Bart, Doppler 10 meteorologist, rather, Mackenzie Bart, picks up our team coverage now from Tip City. Good morning. Yes, I'm in Tip City where the National Weather Service did confirm a tornado here yesterday and we're seeing plenty of damage and debris across the area. I'm just about a block away from the Meyer Distribution Center in a neighborhood where you could see plenty of tree damage surrounding this neighborhood, even seeing a bit of siding. And now this siding is from a house across the street. So just to show you the intensity of the system and even a little bit of damage to this neighbor's fence, I did speak to to, uh, this uh, folks last night and they said that as of 11 o'clock last night they still didn't have power and we're having to use a backup generator so people in the area probably still dealing with some power issues and something that they'll be seeing as they have some cleanup throughout the morning hours today but let's show you that video from that Meyer distribution center because that is really kind of the heart of some of the damage that we are seeing and you could just see how some of that iron is completely twisted the roof completely missing in some areas Areas, and even some of the trucks within that area we saw last night were completely tipped over. Now I want to bring it back to you live because we're still working on a few details as the National Weather Service comes out here a little later on today. They're going to work on what the duration was of that system and of course the intensity and we'll bring that to you here on air and of course online. Reporting in Tip City, Mackenzie Bart, 10 TV News. Mackenzie, thank you. And to keep track with your daily forecast, you can always use our 10 TV app. You can also customize your weather alerts so you know when a storm is coming near you.